If you're planning to come into Poland to come and study, I would advise you watch this video. And this video is not to discourage you from coming into Poland, but for you to prepare very well and plan ahead before coming into Poland. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Dara Simia and I am your study abroad body. So if you're looking forward to study outside of your own country, this is the family that you should belong to. So do well by subscribing to my channel. Please like, share my videos and also drop your comments in the comment section. So I've gotten um, a couple of questions about managing work and study as a student here in Poland. So the thing is that um, for countries like the United Kingdom, United States of America, Australia, there are regulations when it comes to the number of hours you can work as a student. You can work for a maximum of 20 hours in a week. So because of this, I think, I think, so because of this, um, a lot of job offers that you are going to see for students are part-time job offers but it is not so here in Poland. I'm not saying there is no part-time job offers, but most of the job offers that you're going to get here in Poland are full-time jobs. And it also depends on the city you're going to study in. That is why I'm making this video so that you can plan ahead before coming into Poland so that you won't think that oh, once I enter into Poland, the first week I will start working, I will start earning money, and then I can pay my rent, you know buy some food that you need every month and also pay your tuition fee i'm not saying you cannot get the money to do it, all of these things but it varies from person to person it varies from city to city it varies from department to department it varies from school from university to university so for example i'm a student in poland and i am currently not working and this is not because there is no job for me to do, but then I can't manage work and study together. So in my department, there is a percentage that you need to get in your attendance. And if you don't meet up to this percentage, you're not going to be allowed to write your exam. Last semester, for example, some people were not allowed to write exam because they meet just two practical classes. Did you hear me right? Two practical classes. So imagine I'm working for three months. Let's say I want to work for three months or even two months. And I'm given a job that I have to work for eight hours, minimum of eight hours, 10 hours, or even 12 hours. Yeah, we have jobs like that. I can work for as long as 12 hours. Yeah, this is good because you're going to get more money, right? But then you need to remember why you're in Poland in the first place. You're in Poland to study, not to work. You are in Poland to study, not to work. You did not tell that the visa officer you are coming into Poland to come and work. You are coming into Poland to come and study. So imagine you have to work for eight hours minimum. Imagine you have to work for eight hours and then your classes are from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So if you're working for eight hours, that means you have to work from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., for example. And then you have classes from 8 a.m up till 4 p.m when you close at work by 2 p.m it is not possible for you to get to school immediately by 2 p.m let's even say oh, okay i'm going to attend just two hours lecture for that day it is not possible by the time you get back to your dormitory you are getting back to your dormitory around 3 p.m so which means your classes for that day is done attendance for that day is zero now imagine you have to do this type of work for three months a semester is going to last for maybe three four i don't know but let's say you have to work for three months. You've missed out on a lot of things from class. You've missed out on your attendance. I don't know how you're going to survive with that as a student. The thing is that working and studying is not easy. Aside missing your classes, aside getting zero attendance, you still want to study. You still want to dedicate time to study so that you can write your exam and pass. You have family back at home. You have friends at home that you would want to check up on. And one thing people back at home may not understand is that some people might even think you are trying to ghost them 
because you are so busy you are busy with work you are busy with study and you send you know people send you message you don't reply on time they might think oh probably you are trying to ghost them or you're trying to ignore them bro it's not so it's not so it's not that it's not that easy the purpose of this video is just to prepare your mind ahead before coming into poland um in my department a lot of us are not working not because we don't want to work not because we don't want this money but we decided to prioritize our study over work and then during summer when we have the luxury of time we can work for longer hours then whatever money you earn during summer you save that money to survive the following summer and thankfully i'm in the student dormitory so i don't pay a lot of money for rent if i was staying in an accommodation outside i would be paying like double or even triple of what i'm paying currently in my hostel and the fee i'm paying for my rent um covers my electricity covers electricity covers eating it covers um water ref every, anything you can just think of internet and everything it covers everything so once i pay my rent for a month i know that all these things are covered so i'm not being charged extra based on how much i use electricity or how much i use water or based on the refuse that i need to dispose of so when you are coming into poland please plan very well know the type of department you are going into for some people it is more flexible it is more flexible because their classes are online but for my own department it is not so if you are going for a course that has more of practical classes it might not be as easy as you think you might just easy not to go to work and come and read hey it's not easy you don't want to fail and you still need money you don't want to fail and you still need money so just plan plan please i don't i don't know the kind of advice i'm going to give you at this point but just plan very well before coming into poland don't um put all your hopes that it is the job that you are going to get in poland that will sustain you for your tuition fee for your rent and also for feeding i mean depending on your department again you might decide that okay maybe when you come in you can decide to work for maybe a month or two months and whatever money you get from there i mean if you can manage the schedule with your classes whatever money you get from there you can save it up and then use it for your rent and for your feeding at least to survive um, a semester then during the holiday you can work for longer hours and also save that money during summer summer break is always three months you can work for three months imagine any like four four thousand zwarty every month so you have like twelve thousand zwarty for three months just for working during the summer break so you can use that money keep it save you know you save that money and spend for the following semester because to me if i would advise you i'm going to advise you the same way i would advise any of my siblings your education is your priority even if after graduation you're not going to use that certificate to get a job please you are here you are here in poland to study face your study and get this degree face your study and get this degree you don't know you might need it you might not need it i don't know whatever reason brought you into poland but you came into poland as a student so you have to be a student i know there are people that drop out of school to face work i'm not going to advise you to do that still get this degree please be cool get the degree if it is possible if you can get in touch with some past seniors in your department and ask them how it is done in your department that way you will know okay my own department though is flexible i can still work and go to class my department it is not flexible they are very strict with attendance they are very this they are very that so you will know how you want to manage yourself okay maybe when you are coming from home you would have packed enough food that will last you for the first semester and you will know that the only thing you need to pay now is your rent so maybe they would have given you the money for rent at home or they will be sending it to you every month and you know that during the holiday you will work so during the holiday if you like work for 12 hours 6 a.m 
to 6 p.m. And you get back to your dormitory maybe by 7 or 8 p.m. You know, once you enter like this, <laughs> if you can eat, eat. And then if you want to sleep till the following day, sleep again. Just imagine that you are a student. You need to go to class. You have homeworks to do. You have presentation to do. How do you want to manage working for 12 hours? Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Most jobs here are full-time jobs. Most jobs here are full-time jobs. I think I'm going to drop my mic at this point. But I just hope um, you were able to get the information I'm trying to pass across to you. Please don't misquote me. Don't misunderstand me. There is job for you as a student in Poland. There are jobs, different jobs mini jobs um corporate jobs whatever job it is that you can you know you you have the qualification to do even if you don't have experience there is something that you can do but the question is can you manage this job with your study so the answer is in your court and then you can decide what you want to do about it I hope this video helps you. I hope this video informs you. Please do well to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video. And I also want to know what you think about this video. Please drop your comments in the comment section. I hope to see you guys very soon because I've been busy. School is schooling. Bye for now, guys. Mm -hmm.